a daily mineral almost everyone is taking and maybe slowly killing you. Hi there! Today we are diving into the mysterious world of calcium. So here's the deal. We're gonna spill the beans on why you should care about calcium. So brace yourself because it is gonna be a wild ride full of heart diseases, blocked arteries, even terrible teeth. And yep, you heard that right. Your pearly whites might actually have a connection to your ticker. Who would have thought, right? Now, I know what you're thinking. Doc, calcium, what's the deal with osteoporosis, the coronary heart patients and all that? Well, trust me, it is a head scratcher. But after some deep diving into the world of calcium supplements, I have found some mind-boggling facts for you. Well, actually, I knew it, but I wanted to bring it together to present for you. Did you know that those supplements can actually increase your risk of cardiovascular issues by a whopping up to 20-25% if you're taking a bunch of calcium supplements? It's like playing with fire, my friend. Let's pump the brake for a moment, by the way. We've got a couple of exceptions here. I can already hear your gasps and say, hey doc, you know, but calcium, you know, you just said, you know, I, I doctor gave me calcium, I need calcium. Buckle up, we're going to take a detour into the land of hypoparathyroidism because some of you are hypoparathyroid. Now in this strange realm, these folks cannot regulate their calcium levels. So if you must take calcium because you cannot regulate your calcium levels, then you must. So let's say you have just had a thyroid surgery or a parathyroid surgery, you might need to chow down on some calcium supplements for a bit to make sure it is all taken care of during that time. But it's like a temporary membership to the calcium club. Remember, we are talking about the majority of us who pop calcium like a candy without really needing it or believing that they need it. So unless you are in the this hypoparathyroidism club, keep those supplements on the shelf. But here there's more. We'll uncover the shocking findings from the Women's Health Initiative study. It's a real eye-opener. I tell you, calcium supplementation not only puts your mortality at stake, but it even affects some kidney patients. Can you believe that? Now, I don't want to spoil the whole video for you, so I will leave you with this. Calcium supplements might just be the tricksters behind clotting and high blood pressure. Sneaky little devils, aren't they? Remember, before you jump on calcium supplements bandwagon, consult with your doctor. Hopefully they know what they're talking about. Seriously, talk to them about it. Most of you, most of them are really good. I mean, don't really underestimate your doctor. Everyone should avoid these bad boys unless really, really necessary. Now, people think that the calcium helps the bones. No, it doesn't. You know, unless you're calcium deficient, the calcium is not necessary. All you need is some vitamin D to make sure that you can absorb the calcium. Now, brace yourself again because you won't believe what I have uncovered and what I will tell you. Are you familiar with the increased mortality then? Well, it turns out that taking daily calcium supplement can increase the mortality by up to 15 to 20 percent. Yikes, right? And get this, it doesn't matter if you take it with or without the vitamin D. So even the poor folks with renal failure already struggling, they had a whopping 22 percent increased risk just by popping those calcium pills. So Wait, why do people take calcium anyway? To keep their bones healthy, right? They, that's what they think. Well, here comes the real kicker. You know how we all thought popping calcium supplement was like giving your bones a big bear hug. Well, again, I hate to break it to you, but that's not the case. Not at all. None. Turns out that those little calcium tablets that are super hard to swallow to begin with, 
aren't doing squat for your skeletal system. What a bummer, right? Well, here's the skinny. If your bones are as brittle as my mother-in-law's fruitcake, then you need some stronger support. What am I talking about here? I mean the kind of support that makes Superman look like a wimp. Yeah, we're talking about some serious medications here. Well, we have sugar and the joint support, which helps naturally, but if your bones are really fragile and you have severe osteoporosis, you will need some serious medications, so calcium is not going to help. You might not be thrilled with the idea, but it's like biting the bullet. You have to do it for your own good, at least for a while. And if you are prone to fractures, it is high time you kick those sneaky calcium supplements to the curb and let the big guns take over. Let's face it, when it comes to keeping your bones top shape, these medications really do work. And most people don't want to take them. All right, so let's shift gears here and talk about the real heroes of the calcium world. Your neighborhood veggies and yogurt. Who would have thought that those green leafy guys and the tasty creamy concoction could be the key to keeping your calcium levels on point? I know it sounds too good to be true, but it is science, baby. And science does not lie. It can change, but it doesn't lie. Now, I see you raising eyebrows there, but uh, let me tell you, there is even a test for it. Yes, you heard that right, a test. Probably not the kind of test you're thinking of, but it's a test nonetheless. Here's a scoop. You pee in a jug for 24 hours. No, I'm not going to play or less, but your doctor can test it to see if you are getting enough calcium from your diet. Simple as that. Yep, that's it, folks. They can actually determine if you have been sneaking your greens or not. So a lot of times I look at the labs and I look at the patient and I'm like, yeah, I know you're lying. Yeah, I, know, I don't say that, but I can tell what's going on in their life. So, for all you calcium junkies out there, take note, before you reach for that supplement bottle, think about chowing down on some tasty veggies and a pot of yogurt every day instead. Trust me, your body and your doctor will love it. So, the next time you're at the supermarket, remember to give your greens and yogurt some love. Not only will they boost your calcium levels, but they will also Keep your taste buds happy and your diabetes happy too. Win-win, right? So let's ditch those sneaky calcium supplements and do it the natural way, the veggie and yogurt way. Well, guess what? Calcium supplements might just have a secret career in the art of clotting too. If you want your blood to clot nicely, just add some calcium to the mix. Vola, instant clot. That's not all, folks. Calcium supplements might also be at fault for some high blood pressure shenanigans. Speaking of mysteries, let's chat about the vitamin K2. It is a fat-soluble vitamin, meaning your body won't absorb it unless there's some fats are playing along in the background. But vitamin K2 is crucial for good bone metabolism. So keeping those skeletal structures strong and steady. Now, imagine what happens when you take vitamin K2 away from your body. That's right. Then that happens. It brings the bone disease, my friends. But why? Why are we experiencing this unfortunate vitamin K2 deficiency? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to face the music our modern day lifestyle changes with the whole this super low fat high carb diet left us with an inadequate vitamin k2 it is time to say no to calcium supplements unless your doctor says otherwise but don't worry you'll be fine as long as you consult a trusted doctor so what's the takeaway let's avoid unnecessary calcium supplements if it is in your diet great that's that's enough Take enough vitamin D. Eat healthy fats. It is time to rock the boat and embrace a calcium-rich, vitamin K2-friendly lifestyle. So, my friends, 
stay strong i will see you in the next video thanks for watching Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.